Hello and welcome everybody, my name is Table of Food and today I'll be playing Payday 2. Just before I jump into a mission, I want to show you guys what this game is all about. So this is an online multiplayer competitive game, up to 4 players by mission, and there is also an offline mode, which I'm gonna show you in this video. The game really does shine in online though. Just before we get to that, uh, I want to explain to you that the game offers up a level up system that goes to 1 to 100 and by leveling up you'll be able to spend skills points that you get. All the skill points that you will get will let you define the gameplay that you want to play with your character. So there's four different trees if we go here in the skills that you can do in, in between missions. So you can spend your skill point anywhere in all the three if you want or just specialize in one if you prefer to specialize in one tree. And each of the trees would let you get specific option for your gameplay to do. So if we say that the mastermind here is the first skill tree, it will let you do more crowd control, have access to medikit, the doctor bag, and really everything that's related to help teammates or like I said the crowd control, controlling the civilians or even the police officers, the guards, you'll be able to take them down with this guy. The enforcer on his side is the more it's more of a direct approach guy. He's gonna be doing the most damage, taking less damage on itself by wearing the heaviest armor in the game, bringing up ammo bags, uh, even using the uh, saw, portable saw that will let you open up safes. So this is ready the enforcer guy. Here you get technician as well. The technician will be the guy that is able to use trip mine, C4 to open up safes. Uh, will be more efficient with drills that you'll need to open up safe if you don't have any other way to open it and can even deploy a sentry tower to help you out. The last one and on the last is the ghost which I'm more likely like a ghost mastermind myself here with my character is the guy that will take everything more silently so you can play like a stealthy character with this guy you'll be able to bag up corpses uh, move more fa uh, faster even crouch and uh, use uh, the silence weapon and deal more damage with it and even open up safe by pick locking them so it's really really useful because if you're using a portable saw or if you're using c4 let's just say that this does a lot of sound and everybody will be aware you make a lot of noise so you really want to do it silently you go the ghost way if we back up now uh, just to say that you can always respect any of the trees that you spend skills point in it, but you will lose money in the process, so you always have to spend more money again to reskill yourself. If you go into the inventory now, you can always buy a new weapon by leveling up, it will unlock new weapon every time. And it lets you buy primary and secondary weapon, and you can customize those weapons. Every weapon is customizable. So you can, if you click on modify weapon, add either a silencer or anything to the barrel extension, gadget, magazine, sight, and depending on the weapon, there's more or less modes available. All those modifications that you can get will be dropping randomly at the end of each mission that you succeed. So we'll see that if I succeed a mission at the end. There's a secondary weapon, like I said, then you, there's the armor, Will the armor will be unlockable uh, after a few levels each time and it's free so you don't have to buy the armor but you have to be aware that there's a movement penalty and so the guard can be more suspicious if you're wearing a full flak armor and standing in his face. On the equipment side you have to unlock equipments by spending the first skill point in every of the skill trees if you want every equipment except the sentry gun which is higher in the technician skill tree. For the mask, you will begin with the basic mask that comes up with the character that you choose. And from there, you will drop up the mask by random loots at the end of every mission. And then it's possible to drop patterns and colors. As you can see, that's a regular mask that I drop. And then here, that's a mask that I added patterns to it. So that's the mask I'm wearing right now. If you want to choose your beginning mask, you go to character and you can choose the mask that you want to start up with and the tuxedo color that you want to wear. That won't affect anything else, so there's no stats related to which character you're playing, there's no character with more stamina than others, it's just for the look of the beginning max and the tuxedo colors. So now, let's jump to a mission. 
the way that the game works is that if you go here in the crime net now it's gonna be in the offline but the online is pretty much the same thing except that you can jump in in other people's game here's only gonna be for myself all the mission that will appear here will slowly show up and the mission will be here for a few seconds so if you don't pick it up it will disappear and there's always a difficulty level with the mission so there's normal which means that you don't see any yellow dots on it one dots uh, one yellow dots means hard two dots very hard three dots it means overkill and if it's in a pro job if you see pro job right on top of it that means you fail the mission you won't be able to redo the mission so i'm just choosing one here this one is going to be in a very hard pro job so if i fail the mission i won't be able to retry it if it was a normal one i can retry as many times as i want and as you can see here i'm being able to buy assets so depending on the mission you can buy more assets than others so i can buy camera feed for example if i wanted my friend to be able to look inside the camera without being in the room I can even buy codes for shutter to be able to close up the shutter window and give me more time if the police is in assault. Finally, you can choose back your loadout before going into mission. Here, I think I'm going to be a little bit more stealthy and I'll be using a hammer bag if the mission goes badly. Alright, so let's jump in and see what it looks like when you play in the game. So when you begin up uh, a mission, depending on the mission, you can start up in casing mode, which is the case right now. Which let me go. It let you go anywhere you want, and except if you are in front of a guard wearing a, a flak armor. Or if I go here, you see in the entrance there's a metal detector. So I don't want to go through there uh, because I will be detected. So you can look at everything without being spotted because you don't wear your mask right now. So be aware that you cannot jump cannot crouch or cannot use like uh, your weapon on anybody in casing mode so you really have to engage the, the mask mode to start the east so I'll just go, okay so both of the guards are back here since i do have some skills in the mastermind tree i'll be able to uh, control a guard by just asking him to cuff himself but I need to wear the mask for that, so I'm just gonna look here and see if both of the guards are still there. No, okay, only one. I'll try to do this mission silently uh, by doing a stealthy approach, but it's possible that it will fail. So if it fails, I'll try to go and do it as fast as possible. So let's just start with this guy oh, it's on now. and ask him to. To cuff himself, like I was saying before. There we go. So we are okay with this guy. Other guard is not there. So I'll just wait for him to come here, if possible. And I'll try doing the same thing. Okay, he's really, really far away. So let's go here and see if there's anybody looking through the window. Nope. Alright then, so we can open up and pick up the window. Let's get in. There's a guard that they are supposed to come in here, so I'll just wait for him, knock him off, and then answer a pager to don't have the other cards alerted so we just have to kind of wait a little bit like I said if you play online with other people it's really really more fun because you can start doing tactics okay you are on the other side you take the other guy and everything when you're playing offline you cannot do a lot because I mean your teammates are AI and are not even gonna pick up the bags of money when you have bags to loot so I hope they fix it up in uh, future patches to at least let you pick up bags with your AI teammates. But 
like I said, the game is not built to play offline, so this is just for the purpose of this video. Otherwise, I'll be playing online. Uh, I've been playing this game a lot with my friends lately, and it's really, really fun. If you can have three, three, or three of your friends playing the game as well, and this is a blast. So, because I do have the skill for it, I'm just gonna pick up the lock. Otherwise, if you start up the, the game and you are at the starting level, you will have to use a drill. But the problem with drill is that it is not silent until you get the skill for it. So, I'm just gonna do it. And the objective in this mission is to get the Tyra. If I can get the Tyra, I can just run away with it and try to pick up the, maybe a bag or two on my way out. Hoping it's here. No, it's gonna be in the other chest. Yeah, that's what I don't want to do. Okay. Now the camera has just spotted me, so the alarm will be activated. There we go. So I'll pick up this one, and the tire have to be in this or the other chest. So if it wasn't in the other, like I did check, it will be in this one. Hoping my teammate will back me up here. And using a drill usually takes up to about. Uh, maybe two to three minutes to drill it up and if you're using the skill like I do it's gonna take only 45 seconds to pick up a chat. If you do have C4 though you can just blow up the door in a few seconds and run away. The thing that happens in this mission is that since the, uh, the cops are arriving I won't be able to run away because the van just escape okay so you have to have your van to be able to escape the mission and since police are here they won't let me ask everybody to go down tire it up by keeping hostages that will help me have more time to escape because the police officer will go for hostages first and right now they are just filling up I'm trying to steal as much money as I can so I'll steal on Joel well I have to wait for the van to come back. Come on, come on guys. And the way that the health system works in this game is that you have the armor that you're wearing and your health. So the health bar won't regenerate itself after it's depleted. So if it goes down all the way you get on the floor and you need one of your teammates to revive you but the armor will automatically refill itself after a few seconds if it's depleted so that's good So try to stay in cover while your armor is down and just show up the time to shoot them up. Now, it says escape available, but it always takes a few seconds for the uh, van to really arrive. So I don't know yet on which side it's gonna arrive. Just have to wait a little bit. Now, if you see on the top right of the screen, it says a police assault, which means right now the uh, the police is going in and attacking my position. So I'll just try to run out as fast as I can without being killed. I don't think I'll be able to bring both bags. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's gonna be hard. And try not to shoot civilians because you will lose money. Okay, I'm making a run for it. Grab the bag. Oh, I think I'm all right. All right. If you were playing online, you have to have every of your buddies in the same area at the end to escape in the mission. Oh, there's an escape mission right now. But you have to have everybody at the van or if somebody is down, either have to be revived by your teammate or be stuck in custody. If he's in custody, he can just run away 
without having to worry about it. Otherwise, the mission won't end as long as everybody is not in the escape area. So that can happen at the end of the mission. You can get an escape mission, but at least you can redo your loadout. Escape mission, you have to defend yourself uh, against a loadout of police officer and SWAT team that they will throw at you. So I'll just change here my tactical vest to combine tactical vest and I'll maybe take up uh, no I'll keep that one. Son of a bitch. So every escape mission can be different. Um, the starting one usually are around the park here, but you'll see depending on the mission that you're doing can be different. So here on that mission what you want to do is try and... Do you have any bags? Yes, I have both my bags. If you can, you try to bring the bags again to the new escape that you will get. But on that map, just try and control the uh, garden here. And if you can, try to edge the those guys because you do more damage. Throw down an ammo bag. Ammo well, probably here. need it. Like I said, that's really what you want to try and do is to keep control of the park and then get your position overrun. When you have the skill for it, like I do, I can move faster with any bags I'm carrying, except if it was gold or really, really heavy money bags. So I can just have one on me and run away like that. Run anywhere I need. So we just have to defend ourselves until the escape comes in. Sometimes you can have a special enemies. There's a taser guys, a shielded as to a team, and as well as bulldozer, which are guys with a heavy, heavy flak armor, and they take a lot of damage before going down. So I'll try to pick up more ammo here. Okay, let me. Okay, so I still have one minute to go. Not doing so well for me right now. But even though we are in an escape mission, uh, there's moments where the police officer will be in an assault and then moments where they will be back to normal mode. Which is gonna leave me a few times, to, uh, a bit of time to escape. So let's try to survive. That. Okay, there's people here. Hitcha, 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 hitcha. There we go. In their faces, bitches. Okay, how long before it comes in? See, right now we are not in asset mode anymore. Okay, it's gonna be on this side. I do have another skill that let me throw the, the bags really far away, so if you start up and you see that you're not able to throw the bags as far as I do, that's normal. You have to unlock the skill for it. Alright, just run, 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 run. Drop the bag 
here. Pick up the bag. Drop here. And there we go. So that's the mission completed. You'll see I'll get my money here. Should let me go. So I got 873,000 in offshore account and 45,000 in spending money. So because I didn't talk about it, the offshore account let you buy contracts. So instead of waiting for a mission to pop up on this main screen, you can just pay with offshore account money to choose the difficulty of the mission and choose the mission you want. Here's the random card I said at the end of the mission and I'm getting extra money. So that's pretty much Payday 2 in a nutshell. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe. My name is Bintevo Food. I thank you all and see you next time.